For my ethnography, I decided to observe Contractor Steel Company located in Belleville, Michigan. I had permission to write my ethnography about this place because my father is the plant manager here and my brother works here as well. I have been here a few times, but only informally and usually for a minute or two picking up my father. I could not remember exactly where it was located when I was driving there for my observation, but all I had to do was follow a truck loaded up with steel on Michigan Avenue and knew I would make it there. I pulled up to the massive building consisting of five bays of steel and walked in to greet my father, who resides in the only office in the building. There are about four other individuals he shares this office with. I then obtained the mandatory hard hat and set off to walk around and observe the plant. The first thing I notice is that the plant is very loud. Most of the employees wear earplugs so that they do not lose their hearing. Next I saw the railroad tracks that run through the building. It is pretty unique that a train drops off rail cars full of steel to the company and then a few days later, contractors move them outside and the train picks them up again. Right by the railroad tracks is also where I found a nook that an employee had stashed a coffee pot full of coffee at. This was one of my first encounters with caffeinated beverages. Then, as I was walking through the plant, I briefly said hello to many of the employees. At each workstation with the employees, more often than not, there was a radio. The music heard throughout the plant ranged from country to rap and everything in between. There were also fans located at most of the workstations because the plant is not air-conditioned, minus the small office. There are wide doors open for the rail cars and trucks to pass, but it still gets pretty stifling hot in there. The mandatory uniform is full-length pants, which makes it even warmer so the fans are a must. While at each station, I heard a little information about what the employee was doing and the machine they were running. One thing that surprised me was that most of the machines cost a million dollars or more. A machine bought used was still a whopping $750,000. I noticed there were no chairs around the plant at the stations too. This means most of these men are standing for 10 hours a day operating these machines. I can only imagine how tolling that is on their bodies. One key factor I was constantly reminded of while walking through the plant was being safe. If a crane was moving above you, you were looking up to make sure you were not under the steel being carried, just in case it were to fall. Then, while walking on the gravel pass, you were looking down to make sure not to trip on the uneven ground or over the steel on the ground. You must also watch for semi-trucks pulling in and out of the plant as they are loaded up with steel. Due to this environment, I heard many times of the extreme dangers of this job. Unfortunately, the company has lost a life and had injuries due to employees not being safe around the steel. My own brother almost lost his finger as it was pinched between two pieces of steel. However, the plant is organized very nicely to try and prevent danger. There is a color code to mark the steel based on its thickness and grade. Each piece of steel is spray painted so everyone knows what it is and then stacked in piles. The company also has a system called Casco, which holds a bunch of steel in stock. There is a computer that an employee types in what type of steel they need and how much of it, and then an automated forklift goes to the shelf it is stored on and brings the steel down. The company also has its own gas pump to fill up semi trucks so that they do not have to stop at gas stations. Overall, I witnessed a lot of men working hard at their laborious jobs. I also saw the dangers and the need to be alert at all times while working at a steel company. The men I encountered were all very happy and seemed to enjoy the work they were doing, though. After this experience, I have a new appreciation for the important work that employees of a steel company do.